Hello, good morning guys. This is Limwell again. Welcome to my new flexible learning YouTube channel. So it's a brand new day, a brand new week. But now I'm on my 11th week na yun sa akong new flexible learning vlog diary. So this week, uh, we are expecting again another uh, virtual seminars from different subjects na among uh, atinan. So what are you waiting for? Let's join! As we continue to fight with the various challenges brought by this pandemic, we need not to forget how to appreciate life in so many ways. This can be done by looking at the brighter side during the new normal to manage our well-being and social relations. So come join us on the 27th of November 2020 for the Mental Health Awareness Webinar titled Appreciating Oneself and others during this new normal. Paul Arnn, the head of the guidance and counseling unit, to introduce our speaker this morning. No other than ang mama ng lahat sa USDP and, and say no challenge because I yesterday nga. I hope you favor to do the hosting and the last minute last minute changes. So help me welcome Ma'am Mercedes Tano of RGC. Good morning, Ma'am. Good morning. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Arnn. Thank you so much. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Now this morning I am. Very grateful and indeed an honor for me to introduce a man with brilliance, virtue, and achievements, yet with utmost humility. He happens to be first honor during his preschool, and then salutatorian when he was in elementary, and then second honorable mention high school, cum laude BS in psychology. He also earned 21 master of units in industrial and organizational psychology, and a master's of science in business administration, human resource management, best in moral revalida. Okay, both in University of San Carlos and University of the Visayas. And of course, he is a doctor where he finished a degree of Doctor of Management, major in Human Resource Management. He also completed an alternative form of education and community development, recipient of highest honors, leadership excellence award, indeed an achiever. He participated in cultural exchange program in Netherlands and also business excellence course in Disney Institute in Singapore. Wow, thank you very much, uh, Ma Mercy. I am uh, melting upon your introduction. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, thank you very much. Um, first and foremost, my greetings to everyone who are here. Doc Anj, good morning, and uh, it's nice to see you again. So, <laughs> ang glad to see you, Sir Bobby. Thank you so much for, for already gracing this event to all of us. It's been a while that I haven't seen you. The last time we met was at the Perform Way Theater. Thank you, Kaya, Sir. Thank you also, ma'am, for the opportunity. So, ako ang pagtahod and a rainy greetings. No, it's uh, quite rainy here in Cebu. To the president of USDP, uh, Dr. Ambrosio Sa Cultura, and uh, to the chancellor, attorney uh, Janelle Albina, to the vice chancellor, Dr. Alino Hina San Diego, who did a very nice. Um, inspirational talk and of course to Dr. Hino Salango, Ma'am Anj and then to the Dean's Principal and the Directors and to the Publication Ms. Maricardo Mucho and to the Planning and Monitoring Mr. Vic Marsuazo and of course to my very dear friend uh, Ma'am Mercy and uh, to my classmate and a good friend Sir Ariel Taxon good morning and thank you for this opportunity and um, for this morning I will be sharing to you um, what I think about um, how to appreciate ourselves and how to appreciate others in the new normal. So allow me to share my little slides and while I'll be sharing to you my slides, I would like to um, invite everyone that if you have um, questions and um, clarifications or um, sharing, no, please feel free to um, chat in our chat box and later we will uh, read them and try to answer all your questions so ladies and gentlemen let me start with um, this uh, topic of uh, I think that is very timely and relevant um, it is appreciating myself and others in the new normal so 
basically ladies and gentlemen like the circle you've seen so at this point sir bonifer shared to us on how his life changed by his faith in fighting the COVID-19. It's indeed that faith is a fundamental part of our life. We were taught from a very young age that leaning on faith in difficult situation helped us to overcome even the most trying and challenging times that we will face during our life. So there you go guys, my week 11 on this new flexible learning vlog diaries. Thank you so much, stay safe, stay at home, and God bless. See you next week. Bye!